Welcome back to Study by Yourself. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how to name oxo anions. So, what are oxo anions? Oxo anions are compounds with um, oxygen in them as well as a charge. And with all what I've seen, they are all negative charges. So, I'm going to write some of them. We go through them and then see how we can name them. Now, there are certain rules you need to know when you are dealing with oxo anions. First of all, when you are naming them, the suffix or the name ends with ATE. And you see what I mean by ATE. Now, the number of oxygens also. Since it's an oxo anion, you expect that oxygen is in there plus is an anion. Anion is negatively charged. So, over here I've written something that the number of oxygen, when the number of oxygen is one, we call it mono. When it is two, we call it di. When it is three, we call it tri. When it is four, we call it tetra. When it's five, we call it penta. When it's six, we call it hexa. When it's seven, we call it hepta. When it's eight, we call it octa. When it's nine, we call it nona. And ten. Is the car now? I like to have the rules always on the sheet so that we will be comfortable naming or going through them. So let's go through some examples. So, here are a few of them. Now, to name oxo anions, first thing you need to do is to name um, that is the name. The first thing you need to do is to be able to calculate the oxidation number and. I already made a short video on how to calculate oxidation number but because you are going to do the real naming here i'll still go over that now in calculating for oxidation numbers you don't need a lot of rules all you need to know is that with two elements in a compound find the oxidation number for the elements on the left so on the left we have for the first one we have nitrogen on the left we are finding oxidation number for nitrogen. So, anytime you are finding oxidation number, you always represent the one you are finding for with a variable. That is, you are going to write a linear equation. So, to write a linear equation over here, you are going to have x. Now, the next thing you write is the charge of oxygen. That is um, oxygen ion. The charge is minus 2. Now, if you are wondering how the charge is minus 2, I'll urge you to watch my video on finding oxidation. I'll urge you to watch my video on explanation of the periodic table. You will know how the oxygen has charge of minus 2. But let me just do a brief recap. We said that in that video, I said that when an element has 1, 2, or 3 electrons on the outermost shell, it loses so it has a charge of positive when an element has five six or seven electrons it gains a number of electrons to add up to it now oxygen has six electrons on the outermost shell it needs two to add up to it so when you when you add two it gains a charge of minus two so that is how it becomes um oxygen ion minus two charge now after writing the charge the next thing you write is the number of atoms of oxygen you have. So 2 equal to the charge of the whole compound, which is negative 1. This is it, negative 1. So x minus, minus 4 equals minus 1. So x equals minus 1 plus 4. x equals 3. Now, we have the oxidation number now. So the next thing to do is to name. Apply the rules we have. We're going to apply this and apply that. So to name... What you look at is the number of oxygen atoms you have. You have two. So you're going to call it di. So di. Now you name from your right to your left. So di. Because of the two. Oxo. Because of the oxygen. Oxo. Then N. N is nitrogen. That is where the suffix ATE comes in. So it's going to be nitrate. So. 
di for the 2, oxo for the oxygen, nitrate for the N. Di oxo nitrate, then the oxidation number comes in. 3, 1, 2, 3. Ion. Why is it an ion? Because it has a negative charge. It's an ion. Then the next thing. C. That's where you find the oxidation number 4. So most of the, or almost all the oxygen ions, you find the oxidation number for the element on the left. So you're going to represent with X. X. Then... Oxygen is minus 2. That's a charge. Minus 2 times 3. 3 atoms of oxygen equal to the charge of the whole compound minus 2. So you're going to have x minus 6 equals minus 2. x equals minus 2 plus 6. x equals 4. So that's the oxidation number of the whole compound. CO3 to minus. So you're going to have the name this three so it's going to be try from here try oxo try oxo carbonate carbonate for iron wow the space has been used up Let's see what we'll do so we have the name for CO32 minus. So for the third one, we're going to have this. We're going to find for phosphorus. So it's going to be X minus 2 times 4 equals minus 3. So X minus 8 equals minus 3. X is going to be plus 8 minus 3. X is going to be 5. So the name is going to be now, the name is from here. You name from the number of um, oxygen atoms. Oxygen atoms over here is 4. So it's going to be tetra. So that's why I'm, write, I'm writing it down here. Tetra oxo. Tetra oxo phosphate. ATE. Tetra oxo phosphate. 5. Vein. Ion. Tetra oxo phosphate 5 ion. So that is it for these first three examples. So let's look at a few more examples. So the fourth question we have BrO3 minus. Now we are supposed to find the oxidation number for Br. So finding it, you are going to have x because that's what we are finding for x the charge of oxygen ion is minus 2 so minus 2 multiplied by 3 equal to negative 1 so x minus 6 equals minus 1 negative 1 so you're going to have x equals minus 1 plus 6 so x equals 5 so you are going to call this try from here so try oxygen oxo this is bromine so bromate try oxo bromate five for the sake of space right down here ion so i repeat ion because there's a charge here you start naming from your right try oxo bromate i told you that the suffix should be ate try oxo bromate 5 ion so moving on to this one we have mn i told you that i repeat that when the elements are three find mostly find the oxidation number for the one in the middle when they are two find for the oxidation number find the oxidation number of the one on the left so we present with x then the charge, minus 2, times 4, 4 atoms of oxygen equals the charge, negative 1. So x minus 8 equals minus 1. So x equals minus 1 plus 8. x equals 7. So we are going to have tetra. Why tetra? Because there's 4 here. 
and we said the number of oxygen is four, so tetra, tetra oxo. This manganese, so we are going to call it manganite, manganite, manganite seven, the Roman numeral seven, capital I. And then the last question we are finding for this chromium. Now, chromium is X because you are finding oxidation map for it, but there is it's multiplied by two, so times two. So minus two times seven. Why seven? Because there's seven here. Equal to the charge minus two. So you're gonna have two X minus fourteen equals minus two. 2x equals minus 2 plus 14. We are going to have 2x equals 12. x equals 6 when you divide through by 2. So the name is going to be the 7. 7 is what heptar. So the name is going to be, let me write it here, heptar. Oxo. Let me continue down here. Chromate, chromium, suffix ATE, so chromate. Six ion. So just a little review. Oxo and ions ox has oxygen in it as well as has a charge. You represent the element you are finding oxidation number with x then you write the charge of oxygen minus two times the number of atoms of oxygen equals to the charge so thank you very much i'll urge you to subscribe hit the like button and also share with your friends thank you